Gentlemen, in today's video, I want to talk about style over 50. I also want to talk about vacation style hacks. I just got back from Naples, Florida. I went on a golf trip with 20 guys. We all congregated down there. And it was very interesting to see what these 20 guys wore for their fashion. Now, we're all right around the same age. The age brackets went from 45 to 65, okay? But the bulk of us guys were in our 50s. And it was, it was very interesting to see, you know, the clothes that they thought were in style that they thought they looked good in. So what I did is I put together one of the most popular outfits that most of the guys in the group were wearing as well as the locals and it seemed to be the outfit of choice. So I know I'm dangling a carrot in front of you. Don't turn the video off. Everybody and I welcome you to my grooming, fitness, and lifestyle channel for guys over 50 who want to up their game, look, and feel better about themselves. You know it's coming, and anytime you like it, guys, come on, man, give me one of these, and don't forget to hit the subscribe bell so you don't miss any of my grooming, fitness, fashion, and lifestyle videos. So, guys, the purpose of this video is not to break your balls. The purpose of this video is to get you to take off the rose-colored glasses and actually look at yourself with a whole new fresh perspective. Make sense? The problem with guys in their 50s is you become complacent. You're complacent in your relationship. You're complacent in your job. You're complacent in your overall health. Get the picture and what happens? The spiral keeps on going down, guys. So the preface of this video is to get you to turn everything around. Today we're gonna to talk about fashion. How is it that all 20 guys that came in my group, they all dressed the same? We went out to fancy restaurants, they all dressed the same. We went out to some hot clubs, they all dressed the same. So did the locals out there. So I had a lot of fun putting together an outfit. I had to go to the thrift store, but I had no problem finding the exact outfit that these guys were wearing. And I wanna, I wanna show you this outfit. And if you are a gentleman that is wearing it, I wanna show you an alternative outfit. I wanna show you something that is gonna make you look a little bit better, a little bit more sharper, uh, a little bit more in times. And guess what? It's actually gonna make you feel a hell of a lot better. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you the clothes in just a second, but quickly we gotta talk about skincare. If you're a man in your 50s, 60s, 70s, 30s, or 40s, and you're not doing skincare, guys, it's time to start. Eight weeks ago, I teamed up with a company. It's Particle Aesthetic Science. This is an all-in-one skincare for men. What this company did is it took the guesswork out of what product to use for my skin, whether it was for my dark circles, whether it was for my wrinkles, whether it was for pigmentation. As we age, we get thinning skin, okay? I got thinning skin. This helps firm up the skin. I love this stuff so much, I'm not putting it down. And you might say, Frank, what do you really know about skincare? Well, let me, let me brief you on something here. I'm an owner of a medical spa. And for all of you out there that don't know what that is, I'm in the business of making men and women look their very best. I deal with facial creams and serums. I've seen what's on the market. I, I've been through so many of them and this product I can't put down. You know why? Because you know what? My skin is snapping in shape. I'm starting to get even color in my skin. Yes, I'm a work in progress, I'll admit that, but I'm sure you are too. And if you don't attack the skincare, what happens? It's just gonna progressively get worse. If you think your skin is irreversible, you are wrong. Things can get reversed unless you're too far gone, okay? But you have to at least try. It's so easy, it's a matter of putting a dime size application on your finger, rubbing it in throughout your face, once in the morning and once at night. It doesn't get any easier in this. And then guys, you think that you can just run and grab your wife's face cream? Don't do it. We have different skin than women. Our skin is a quarter thicker. Their formula won't penetrate the skin. Particle for men, this will penetrate it. And that's why I'm starting to see the difference. If you want great looking skin, if you want to completely better your look, I'm going to put a link in the description box below. Click 
on that link, go to the website. They are offering some awesome specials. You gotta try it. You will not be disappointed. If you wanna be the best looking man you could be, you gotta do face cream, guys. Back to the video. Well, like I said, I, I actually had a riot uh, walking into the thrift store, and what was alarming is I actually found what I was looking for. So here's pretty much the exact outfit that a bunch of the guys in the group were wearing, as well as the locals and other vacationers. Okay, this is the Naples, Florida. Money Naples, Florida outfit of choice, okay? A lot of the guys in my age bracket, they're wearing this outfit walking around. They're wearing it to fancy five-star restaurants, and then they're wearing it to the club. Now, let's talk about it. For, for some reason, guys think that the pleats in the dress pants makes this outfit much more sharper. There, there's no room for pleats on shorts. There's not even room for pleats on long pants. Um, and, and gentlemen, what is the deal with shorts in, in summer, okay? You know, I can see wearing shorts if you're at a sporting event, a picnic, uh, afternoon functions when it's blazing hot, that's totally fine. But guys, I would never, ever, ever wear shorts or this outfit when you go out at night. It's not needed. Oh, it's hot? It's not hot. These go down to your knees, okay? So the only thing that's exposed are your shins. Are you telling me you gotta keep your shins cool? It's a garbage look. I need for you to throw this out, okay? I also wanna show you the shoes that they're wearing with this outfit. I nailed it here, guys. I nailed it. Everybody is wearing these older, hard, crispy leather shoes. No socks. This is the outfit. It's horrifying. So gentlemen, there are a lot of very gorgeous women down in Naples. You know, and if you have a goal other than golfing down there and your goal is to maybe meet a woman, maybe have dinner, or even a date, come on, we're all men, okay? Your dress in an outfit like that, I venture to say, you're a little behind the eight ball. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you an outfit that just might score you that date. So guys, for reference, I hung up the sexy outfit of choice that most guys wear on vacation or just in everyday life because I want you to make a fair and accurate comparison between the two outfits. All right, so this is one of the outfits I wore down to Florida. I'm gonna show you two. So let's talk about this. This one starts with more of a washed out pair of slim fit jeans. And I coupled it with a simple but sexy black t-shirt. And guys, I'm sure you see what I did. I broke up this outfit with what I like to call a statement piece. And that's a hot, sexy belt. Because your eyes are automatically drawn to this belt, okay? This is a Gucci. I'm not saying you gotta buy a Gucci. But I feel if you get yourself a hot, sexy belt, it definitely breaks up uh, the outfit and it's different. You don't see a lot of guys wearing this look. And then guys, What's the very first thing that people notice about a man's outfit? It's not your package, okay? It's the shoes. And that's a true and accurate statement. My hand to God, if I told you, if I had five to 10 people compliment me on the shoes that I wore to Florida, and I brought several, that's no lie. So obviously, they don't see fashion down there or they see the same old fashioned down there. So guys, shoes are a must. They have to be, uh, they have to make impact in your outfit. And then what I did is I bought a brand new, hot, sexy sports coat. One that you can wear in both summer and winter. It's light enough. And then I added a pocket square. Now, let me ask you a question. Would you rather be walking down the streets from bar to bar, restaurant to restaurant, club to club, wearing a nice casual but good looking outfit like this, or what most of the people wear down there, what most of the guys in my golf group wore. You see, you see the difference over here? This is an outfit that gets you out of the box, that makes you different. It doesn't take a lot of thought process, all right? So are you ready for the second one? Let's do it. So gentlemen, here's another outfit that I wore. And very similar, but yet very different. Now this is a darker pair of jeans and I got on a, more of a suede shoe. All right, um, you can see I definitely added, you know, a hot belt. And if you notice, the belt buckle matches the buckle 
on my shoe. Again, they're both Gucci. Um, guys, I believe in spending money on an outfit where it's needed. Everybody chooses when and uh, where to spend their money. Um, I, like to, I like to spend it on my wardrobe because it's, it's impact. Um, if you're a single guy out there, if you're a single guy in your 50s, uh, and you're in the dating world, come on guys, what are you gonna do different uh, to stand out from all the other guys that this, this girl is seeking? What do you do different? Well, first impressions means everything. If you got this girl's attention right when you walk in the door, already above the game. Otherwise, you're gonna be fighting a losing battle. So fashion is very, very important. Um, getting, getting back to this look, um, again, I didn't, I didn't wear dress pants. Um, I didn't have to down there. I brought them, but the feel was casual, but yet sexy. Um, and I feel that this outfit conquered it. Okay, again, the gold with the gold, the darker jeans, the lighter shirt, and again with the with the darker coat. Again, this is a, a great look that works in any restaurant, that works in any bar, that definitely works in any club. Um, so guys, I'm just trying to get you to open your eyes to a different perspective. How would you want to be seen? Would you would you want to be seen walking around in this outfit? Or, or something like this, okay? I'm not saying this is the beat all, end all, but honestly, look at and tell me what's a better look. You follow what I'm saying? If you wanna be different, if you wanna stand out from all the other 50 year olds out there, then guys, just do it. You know, my name is Frank Bernardo. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule and watching this video. Because guys over 50, we're not dead. We're just getting started.